Hey lightweights, welcome back to some more Red Dead Redemption. Ralphie says hello. <laughs> Every time he enters a room, he has to shake his whole body. Come here, let's say hi. He must not like you guys. He never wants me to pick him up. I don't know if you can see him in the bottom of the frame. <laughs> Anyways, last video. Uh, we had another moment where we thought that we were going to find Bill and Javier finally. And it was another last minute trick by DeSanta. So he's dead now because I shot him in the face. And he can't tell us where they really are. So we have another mission for Reyes. I'm hoping that he is able to uncover some more information for us. I have a feeling we have to be finding them soon, but who the heck knows, because every time we found Bill in the past, he was able to get away. So I don't really know at this point, but I am extremely excited to play. Um, I have not done anything between last video and this video because I'm recording them all on the same day. I just did an outfit change, so I have not done anything. Uh, since then I did go to try to buy see if I could buy that last outfit scrap for the rebels outfit But I still can't buy it yet. So I am in a different spot than where I uh, left off last video But I didn't actually do anything because it wasn't available um, So we are going to start off by visiting Reyes uh, and hopefully we get the next part for That love is the opiate stranger mission because there's more to that that's not on the map yet So I'm assuming I've just got to wait a couple days and it will pop back up but I'm not sure, so we have to keep our eyes out for that. So, uh, without further ado, you know the drill. Please make sure you subscribe to the channel. Hit that bell button when you do, so you know when I post the next video. Here you go, you guys. All right, so we're on our way to Reyes. I finally snagged Ralphie. I don't know if I look at the camera at all. Hey, look. Come over here. Look. Nope. He's like, I want nothing to do with this woman. Nothing to do with this. I don't know how long he'll actually stay here. He wants to go outside because it's beautiful out today, but unfortunately, I can't go out right now. <laughs> he looks so sad. Why do you look sad? What would your most loyal follower, Luisa, say about that? Uh, who? Luisa, the girl from Campo Morada. Uh, all right. A gentleman never tells, but she was a most wonderful... Uh, I just say she was incredible. Yes. Let me tell you something. I strongly recommend her. You take her when you have the chance, my brother. She <laughs> thinks she's your wife. My wife? These peasant girls, they believe every word a fellow says. So naive. It's really quite charming. Not a I fan, guys. Don't you love peasants? I love them. They have such purity. Are you going to marry her? Ha! Marry a peasant? My dear boy, don't be absurd. I'm going to be the next president of Mexico. My wife will meet ambassadors, kings. Other great men, the very thought that I would marry some peasant girl with a tight gun and the hands of a farmer. Well, I really don't think so. My mother, que Dios la cuide, would turn in her grave. Interesting. Mm -hmm. But come on, let's run. I've got an amazing present for you, my brother. I huh? guess the man you seek. Together, we will bring them to justice. Let's go. <laughs> This guy is such a douchebag. Let's go, John. Today we will both have victory. All right, Ruffy, don't move. I'm bad enough at this already. Let's ride, my brothers. Where are we going? My brother, 
just received word of your fight with Allende's men at El Sepulcro. Finally, De Santa is dead. I am happy it was your bullet jump after what he did to you at Chuparosa. I wasn't gonna give him a second chance to kill me. It must have felt good. Not particularly. He was hardly worth a bullet. I wonder how that dialogue would be different if I let the soldiers kill him instead. Where are they, Abraham? They are at El Presidio, John. Can you believe it? The place we first met. The scene of one of my greatest victories over Allende's traitors. You could not write a better story. It's a story I want to finish. It is a story we both want to finish, my brother. If my rebels can take El Presidio, then we can move on Escalera. The revolution is happening, John. Are you sure they're there? Escuela and Williamson? Javier Escuela is there. That much I am sure of. I don't know about Williamson. Escuela I'll do for now. I am told they paid Allende to hide them. They have been in his protection since you arrived in Mexico. Of course. You, see, you should have trusted your brother, Abraham, all along. When we have him, then you can start making me feel bad. Immediately after you thank me for everything I've done for you, amigo. You're gonna fall. It's like slowly slipping off my lap. I knew I had heard the name Javier Escuela before. He is from this province. They tell me he was once a notorious bounty hunter and also one of the early revolutionaries. That sounds about right. All before my rebellious surges took hold, of course. <laughs> I think I was still traveling in Europe at the time. I was living in Madrid with the ambassador's wife. That sounds about right as well. Escuela was always a torn man. Cynic who desperately wanted to be a romantic. Whereas you, John, are a romantic who wants to be a cynic. Javier would die fighting for what he believed in. He had a lot of passion, no love. Although he really admired Dutch, of course. But then we all did. He was the leader of your little group of fortune hunters, right? The Dutch started falling apart and hit Javier harder than any of them. He went crazy. It was like the one thing he never believed in turned out to be a fraud. You talk about him fondly. It ain't exactly fondness. We was close once, but he never cared for me or anybody else. Not any of his so-called brothers. He left me to die, but he had a chance to save me. And didn't he teach you any Spanish during all this time you were together? I remember cabron being used a lot. Well, now you get to pay that cabron a surprise visit. I ain't here for revenge. I just need him and Williams. I don't know how I feel about the description of Javier. Who's that girl back there? Another loyal supporter of free me. What? You want a name? You can't even remember the name of the girl you're married. Have you ever known Power Jump? I'm a semi-literate farmer and hired killer. I ain't in the power game. Then you will never have the knowledge that any woman will bear your child. And for her, it will be an honor. I've known about enough bastards without making too many more of my own. A man like me cannot be with just one woman. It would be an injustice to the people I have devoted my life to serve. Oh my yeah, god. This way of serving the people. Kind of like a national gigolo. <laughs> I owe it to the future of Mexico to breed, my brother. If I can get noble blood flowing through the veins of peasants, can you imagine how great this country can be? An army of reyes, of kings. I wish I'd never asked. This is going to be just as bad as the current president. He clearly does not think very highly of the peasants. Have you enjoyed your time in Mexico, John? It ain't exactly been a vacation. Why are you talking like this is already over? I don't know. One way or another, this might be the end. What do you think of the Mexican people? I ain't sure. Some of them have been kind, but a lot of them tried to kill me. Come, my brother. I know what you Americans call us. Greasers, sun greeners, pepper guts. For a land of immigrants, you don't like foreigners very much. I don't care who a man is, what he does or where he's from. If he treats me right, I'll do the same. It's that simple for you, isn't it? You would make a fine socialist. What about the Chinese workers here? 
I hear you ain't exactly made them very welcome. That is different. They are an inferior race. You have all the makings of a great leader, Abraham. The revolution is gaining momentum. Do you have any idea how many times I've thought about the day I will march into Escalera and storm Allende's mansion? I think I have some idea. Soon it will be me sleeping on those silk sheets and the colonel lying with the cucarachas. From what I've seen of Allende, you might want to wash those sheets. <laughs> you might be right, my friend. Do you really think a revolution can work? Do you have enough men? Revolution begins with one person, John. One person ain't gonna defeat the Mexican army. The poor are many and together we are strong. They are ready to fight. If it does work... It will. If it does work, and you take down Alinde, what then? I will give the greatest speech of my life! But after all the fighting and all the speeches are over, what will you do? I will march on the capital and take on Sanchez himself. All right, when Mexico's yours, and you have all the power you desire, what will you do with it? Like any great leader, my brother, I will delegate. Unfortunately, I don't think anything is going to change under Reyes. I have to say, I am not usually in favor of American interference, but it will be sad to see you go. I ain't going nowhere till I have Bill Williams. What will you do when this is over? I want to go home, work my land, and grow old with my wife. That is hard for me to imagine. It's hard for me too, but I've pulled this trigger too many times now. I'm getting tired. Well, get ready to pull it a few more times. El Presidio will be heavily guarded. Oh, I think I got a few more left in me. Maybe one day you can return to Mexico like Lando Ricketts. A famous outlaw come to die in the sunshine. I can always use a cynical American renegade on my staff. I'll bear that in mind. This conversation makes me chuckle because it's like, they talk and then there's a, a pause. Then they talk, then there's a pause. Let's just enjoy the silence, John. It is so rare that we have it. It reminds me of when you're like in a car ride with someone they don't really know. Like you're trying to keep up the conversation because the silence can be awkward. But it's like you have to think about what to say once the previous conversation dies. This is our time. My men will launch a ruse attack on the side entrance to the fort. Meanwhile, you, my American friend, will drive this wagon at the front gate and jump off when you are close. He's been packed with five crates of TNT. That sounds crazy. How long's the fuse? <laughs> yes, like I say, fun times. It's plenty long enough, I think. I see you in there, amigo. Um, right. Hold on, John. You can do this. Oh my God, we're gonna die. He told me to jump, so I jumped. Why did they turn? Oi. <laughs> okay. Good luck, my brother. We will be right behind you. <laughs> Take two. I 
like that guy. We will keep the army occupied, Jump. You go up there, Squaga! I thought we were friends! No, not at the ladder! Oh my goodness. We will cover you, my brother! Gloria, Mama, and Mujeres! <laughs> Hello, brother. It's uh, good to see you. That's not. I heard you was coming. You took your time, no? Come on, you're not gonna shoot your own brother, are you? We was family. Yeah, we were. Then you and Dutch went crazy, and family didn't mean so much. <laughs> That's not. <laughs> so now you do the government's work. And what do you do? You just work for a different government. <laughs> Come on, brother. I think we should go our separate ways, huh? What you and Dutch did was wrong, and the way you left me was wrong. Now, I hate to judge, but as it turns out, it's you or me. The way I see it, might as well be you. We thought you was dead, brother. I promise. I'm telling the truth. Besides, I can give you a bill. And Dutch, Dutch is in Colombia. I can take you straight to him. Hmm? You left me to die whoa. to save your own skin, and now <laughs> you expect me to care whoa, about whoa, you? You got it all wrong, brother. I've always loved you. Even now. Javier, this is just business. Come on, amigo. Abigail wouldn't want this. Abigail would have killed you already. She always thought you was a creep. <laughs> we was family, brother. You and me. Like Cain and Abel, I guess. Leaving each other for dead. Let's go. Understand what happened. It wasn't like you thought it was. Whatever you say, old friend. It was Bill, not me. Yeah, and he's next. The 
you and Bill are back together. Two crazy men sharing a bed. Go to hell, you pathetic fool. I don't want to ride too fast because I want to hear everything. I never liked you, you know? I gave up caring about him or you a long time ago, friend. As I say, this ain't been a social call. It's just business. you want. You're wasting what's left of your breath. Enjoy the view. Breathe the air. Last of either, you're gonna be getting, brother. Finally, you have what you came for, my friend. You're gonna be locked up for a hell of a long time. Unless they choose to hang you. I'm really glad that they... <laughs> They changed Javier in RDR2. Oh, you shit. Don't be sure about what you're doing, brother. You saw me out. Didn't that life we had mean nothing to you? Oh, ah, oh, you puto. Oh, one day, one day, I promise you, you're gonna regret this. One day's about all you got left. I hope you and your wife and children rot in hell. You know that life we lived is over. And when we was living it, it didn't mean nothing anyway. It was just an excuse, and we all knew. What I knew is that you was always a puto. And you're still a puto. Marston, come with me. The army sent reinforcements. Go. Yeah, go with your puto. Oh, 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 oh. We have to hold the key! Key. Use one of the cannons! Luego! So dumb, it shouldn't be making me emotional. <laughs> Major air. I thought those were stairs. Twin brothers, apparently. Two old friends reunited. It is a beautiful thing. Mr. Marston, fancy seeing you down here. I must say it's a pleasant surprise to see you. You've done well, Mr. Marston. Now, 
Javier here gets to see how far the hand of justice can reach. Come on, you. Get in the damn automobile. Can we assume one of my commitments is cleared? Unfortunately, nothing is cleared, John, until your obligations are met. We need you to find Williamson, then head to Blackwater as quick as you can. We have reason to believe that Dutch Vanderland is in the area. Oh, your wife sends her regards. <laughs> I wonder if Dutch knows how far Javier and Bill have fallen. Come on, come on. Or if he cares. <laughs> Seems like he's drugged oh, up. Oh, Mostan. What are you doing here? You left El Matadero weeks ago. Well, I I missed the train. <laughs> what are you talking about? I, I'm leaving tomorrow, honestly. What about your beloved? She says she would wait. Honestly, I I'm I quitting tomorrow. And leaving. <laughs> Quitting? I didn't say that. Why? I'm fine. <laughs> I'm fine. Yeah. She's my beloved. I love it. We rescued you so that you could get drugged up on a bench. It's good. <laughs> I like how that guy just doesn't give a shit that there's shooting going on. And this old lady's like, yeah, whatever. I don't know who's shooting who and what's going on. Sounds like it might be over. I don't know. Um, okay, I think I'm going to take the stagecoach there. Coach. Come on. Are you Senor Marcel? I hear many things about you. I'll sign autographs later. Oh, it's right there. Is the driver dead? Oh, what the heck? Guess we are not tailing the stagecoach.
Don't mess with the celebrity. Unless you want this town to tear you and your boys to shreds, I suggest you let him go. And you think you could tell me what to do, friend? Oh, you should listen to him, friend. Look at that. You want to risk it? <laughs> the American is a drunk. If I were you, I would, I would pull that trigger. <laughs> Put the gun down, Americano. Ya, ya, mátalo. Dejen mi hombre. Mierda! Huh? Ay, Dios mío. Santa Maria! So you want to settle this now, friend? Or you want me to shoot you in the head right now for that poor girl? Okay, but we fight like men, not like dogs. <sighs> <laughs> no! Oh, I was hoping I was done with these. Forget how to do it every time. Thanks, my brother. Now the people are finally ready. Today we overthrow the coronel. Just walking on dead bodies. There are prisoners We're gonna get haunted. We'll fight on our side. Can you save them? Some of my best men are held in Agenda's jail. They will be a great help to us. La libertad y la prosperidad están a nuestro alcance. Durante demasiado tiempo, ustedes han sufrido la tiranía y la opresión. Okay, back up. Gracias, señor. Eres un amigo de México. Oh, it's good. Matas tus hijos de puta. Órale. Quiero ver 
sangre, compadres! ¡Abran paso, cabrones! ¡Abran en la calle como perros! I wasn't expecting this right now. Oh, do I still have that sniper? so stressful. <laughs> 
go for the machine gun jumps. <laughs> we will pass through the door with gunpowder barrels. Wait while we get everything into position. Okay. I love how I made the comment about how it's not the first time he's fought an army. Because again, just another little connection to RDR2. I need to kill one of these! They are running back inside! Adelante! A la mansión! Revolution, John. Okay, that one wasn't bad. The next one's probably going to be. Oh, that's a wall. Let's be real. The only reason Reyes started this revolution is because he wanted this house. There are more coming up the hill. Defend the gate, Joe. Nobody gets through. Many bullets to the face, and he was still just hobbling around. Respect to you. I need all of these, please. I like how you can just run over the gun and it gives you the ammo. It's very helpful. Jen and Williamson, come on, John. Vamos, date prisa, cabrón. To the horses, compadre. We can let them get away. I thought you was tough. Stand and fight. Horse is going to be toast. Which way? Okay, 
Okay, so I was told I can use Dead Eye with my dynamite and with my Molotovs, so I kind of want to try that at some point if I can. like a homing beacon. What the hell are you doing? Find my freedom, pendejo. Now shut up, you dumb ape. And get out of the wagon. Apurate. I'm coming out. Don't shoot. Here. Take Williamson. Just let me live. I will leave the country, I promise. You always was weak-minded. You're the one who let Dutch drive you insane! Dutch wanted you dead. We all did. Well, I'm going after him next. I'll outlive all of you. You always was a traitor, you bastard orphan! And you always was a dumb inbred hick! Esta noche duermo en tu cama, cabrón. Uh, all right, John. I, I, I'll, I'll come quietly. Allende is dead! Mexico is mine! My people are free, and it is all thanks to you, Joe. And to the people who laid down their lives. People like Luisa. Oh, yes. Mm. She, she was very brave, and she will be missed. Who was she again? Your peasant girl <laughs> wife-to-be? Oh, yes, of course. She, she will have a day named after her. Laura's day. Luisa. What? Oh, yes, I, I knew Laura as well. Magnificent girl. Like riding a pompous bull it was, amigo. You never saw anything like it. Anyway, enough about sport. Let's get back to politics. I trust you will join us in riding on the capital. I'd love to, but with Williamson dead, my jailers need me back in Blackwater. Hey, que hacen? Levantense. Well, I must say, I'll miss you, John Marston. I doubt you'll even remember me, Abraham, but it's been an experience. Good luck with the revolution. If you win power, remember why you wanted it. Mm. Well, travel safely, amigo. Come on. Such a fucking prick. Hola. <laughs> Why do I have a bounty? What the hell? For what? I do. I'm just crying and running around. Come um, the fact that both of them said that Dutch wanted us dead. Like, I obviously knew that because he left us for dead, but it's like, 
hearing that hits different. Dutch was like a father to John. And the fact that after all the years we spend together, Hello, sir. Bill and Javier were still so... I don't know. Rude, I guess. It just... It sucks. <laughs> I think that's good for now. I mean, I guess what are they gonna do? We are gonna turn them in to the authorities. So basically, we were signing their death certificate, but. I just was hoping for more from them. Holding it together. <laughs> what is this? Lights camera action has another part. What the heck? What else do I need for that outfit? did it. <laughs> I still have a lot of outfits I haven't even discovered yet. That one kind of looks like a state trooper, so I wonder if it's like a sheriff or military maybe? That just looks like another cowboy. This one looks like a Pinkerton. All right, anyways. Friggin' A. <laughs> These games, man. And it's interesting because that probably would have meant nothing if I had played the, the second game first. Because you don't know them at all in this game. Like, they're just a couple of a-holes that you're trying to chase down so that you can go home to your family. Again, another entity that is just not real for you because you haven't met your family. So there's like no emotional connection to any of these characters if you just played this game. And I'm curious, do you have any emotional connections to characters besides John, if this is the only game you've played? Like, we didn't do enough with any one of them, anyone that wasn't an asshole, <laughs> to, in my opinion, get attached. Like, Louisa maybe, that was a little sad, but we really only encountered her four or five times. Landon Ricketts, I guess, maybe. But the people that you really interacted with a lot were like douche canoes. Let's go. Mr. McKenna, what are you doing here? Thought you were running a film company. Oh, Marston, how the fates have spurned me. The muses cajoled and lament my foolish nature. The hubris. The hubris! It gets the best of us. I've lost everything. Every last dime I invested in that studio is gone. The production Six. was delayed by weather. That fool Spatchcock fell in love with the cameraman and ran off to Canada. Damn you, the gods of bad weather! And the hearts of vain men. Guess I'll have to go make dreams elsewhere. Good luck. 
It'll take more than luck to stop me. Good for you. Leave me now, sir. I have a career to resurrect. Good luck with that. U.S. Army? What? Was that the one that I said looked like it could be? It is! Look at me knowing stuff. Okay. Oh no! Eliminate all other players in a game of poker! <laughs> Shit. So we're going to Blackwater. Pacific Union Railroad Camp. Search Aurora Basin. Oh. It's unlocked. I'm gonna try this. I don't know what I'm supposed to do for it, but we're gonna try. It's gonna be button mashing and I'm gonna be part. so bad at it. Nice to see you there, Mr. Marston. Hello. Can we arm wrestle or what? Is it not the right time? What time is it? Must be too early. Well, I guess I'm not going to do that right now. Um... Alright. Is there a stagecoach here? There is. Let's go to Blackwater. Probably not going to do this. I'll do this. I know you mission. That's what I'll do. I don't think I have time for another main mission. Ready to go if you are. Oh, he fancy. Normally a virtue, sir, but I guess except Great plane, please. You might as well sleep until we get there, friend. My hair, I know this is like I say this every video, but it's in my face. <sighs> I need a haircut. Wait! <gasps> wait, 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 <laughs> This is our house! Can I go see them? home? What happened? No. <laughs> I want to see how old Jack is. And where's uncle with his lumbago? Does he have lumbago in this game? Why are you here? We have to stop meeting like this, John. Hey, there's a beautiful spot. Sure. What are you doing here? My accounts. I'm an accountant. Is that so? In a way. What's your name? You know, it's the darndest thing. I can't remember. Tell me your damn name and where you know me from. Well, I know you're from Mexico, I know you're from back out west. Hell, I know you from all over. Tell me your name or I won't be responsible for my actions. Oh, but you will. You will be responsible. This looks gonna grow. This is a fine spot. See you around, cowboy. Damn you! Yes, many have. What the fuck? What? <clears throat> Who is this? 
this. He's clearly not human. Whoa there. Can I see Dutch's mom's grave? I think it was... Oh, it's a lot bigger now. That thing was on this side, it's one of the big ones. Also, is that guy getting chased by a cougar? You just hit a cartwheel, did you see that? Oh god. I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm trying. Oh my god, there's two! Why can't I lasso it? Stop shooting it, dude! Shit, I don't have any medicine. Yes, yes we do. Okay, you can help me out now. It won't let me lasso it. You guys told me I could lasso it. That was a lie. Did it count? It counted! Woo! Okay, so now I just need some other poor innocent souls to get eaten by a cougar so that I can kill it. <laughs> Woohoo! Sorry, sir. It was for a good cause. Anyways, back to looking for Duchess Mouth. But the cemetery is much larger than it was before. Travis? She was definitely one of the big tombs, I think. She was definitely, I think. But none of them have writing. I guess not. Died of fever, ooh. Dang, that would've been cool. I don't think we are so lucky though. Wonder if he died in a duel. Hmm. Well, I'm gonna pretend it was there, but the weather has made the stone lose its engraving. I. Like, they had no reason to include that in this game, but it would have been really, really cool if they did. Why am I running? Get my horse. Hello there. Ooh, there's another stranger mission. Maybe that's what I'll do. Now that I've wasted so much time. Marston, good to see you. Hello! I like being famous here. Come on!
right. That was a very, a very intense episode. Um, <laughs> I'm really, really angry with Bill and Javier, and I guess I shouldn't, I don't know what I was expecting. But after everything they had been through as a gang, it just, I don't know. I don't know. They show their true colors, especially Bill, <laughs> who we didn't have to shoot, but since he was going to shoot us, Reyes kind of made the decision for us. Um, it just stinks. Everything that they said about Dutch wanting us to die, I know I already expressed these thoughts before, so I'm not really going to get into it too much again, but we obviously knew that from the last game because he did leave John to die, but leaving him to die is like a last minute I'm thinking of myself whim versus wanting him to die. Wanting him to die makes it seem like he was just waiting for the opportunity for John and Arthur to die. I don't know why I'm lumping Arthur in on that because they didn't say anything about Arthur, but to me, since they were so tight and so close at the end there, I feel like they were one and the same in terms of Dutch's opinions of them. And the fact that they were, I don't know, digging up the past about how he was an orphan and nobody loved him, and it just, that really stunk because at one point they were close. I guess I don't know how close John was with Bill and Javier, but Arthur was fairly close with Bill and Javier, so it... It's just disappointing, I guess. Um, and like I already mentioned before, I wonder how different this would have felt if I hadn't played RDR2 first. I'm really, really glad that I did because I feel like this game is just so much more meaningful with RDR2. Um, and I wish, I wish all of you could have experienced it the way that I'm experiencing it. And maybe even just play RDR2 right before you play this, even if you've played both already, just to to see how it changes your feelings because it really is just even arriving back at Beecher's Hope like in the first if you played this first that would have just been like okay what's this dump you wouldn't have thought anything of it but being back there now I was so excited to see our family and so excited to see uncle and to see it falling apart like that it just it's kind of representative of John's life um <laughs> he had all these grand hopes and plans and ambitions and he worked so hard to get them and he finally was able to buy Beecher's Hope and turn it into something productive and then it turns into that and it's it kind of just reflects his life in general he worked so hard to get out of the gang he worked so hard to be a stand-up citizen and even in the epilogue of RDR 2 like you saw that struggle like he wanted to be good but he didn't know how he wanted to be a rancher, but he didn't know how. And, like, all of that struggle is represented by Beecher's Hope being built. And then he gets pulled away from that. And it ties into the far away. And it ties into everything that he's been doing. So, it's just... If you can play the, the RDR2 first, it just makes it so beautiful. Uh, bravo, Rockstar, bravo. I'm going to stop talking now because at this point I'm just ranting and... Um, been able to keep it together so far but I don't know if I'll be able to if I keep talking about it so we're gonna stop um thank you so much for watching you guys I really really hope you enjoyed the video if you didn't haven't already please make sure that you subscribe to the channel hit that bell button when you do so that you know when I post the next video because we are going to be going after Dutch next it sounds like and I have a feeling I'm going to be even more emotional and it's going to be a lot of fun and it's going to be a lot of emotion so I hope you enjoyed thank you so much for watching you guys have a great day